Hi there, hello there, my name is Kraft, and today we are back on my creative world where there is something I actually really wanted to do. Now here we find ourselves in New Creeper City where it's mainly just copper builds and it just looks really really nice, very industrial. But recently, uh, I figured out that I can actually like tamper and toy with uh, a lot of the uh, upcoming update blocks that are coming in 1.21. And so I just wanted to real quick uh, edit this uh, place so that I can go ahead and see how this city would look like with all those new blocks. Now, I already tried to go ahead and do it with this sort of house, so we can go ahead and cut to that real quick. Alright, and as you can see here, I already started working on a few of the little changes here and there. I decided to put some copper grates as windows, because you can actually see over here, I originally had tinted glass as the windows. So, I think this makes it a little bit more industrial. And then I also put in, like, copper doors, copper bulbs, the... What's this called? The chiseled copper blocks? Yeah, I think this looks way better than the original one. Or maybe not. I'll let you guys decide in the comments. But honestly, I want to try and do it for pretty much each and every one of these buildings. It's not really something I'm actually going to be doing in this video, but it is an idea that we could probably do for a future video. And yeah, it's just something that I want to do real quick. So we'll just, I guess, get into it. I find it interesting that one of the things for like the uh, copper bulb is that you have to press a button and then it just continues to work. I find that to be like a really cool feature that I hope is permanent in the game. I don't know. Also, I, I realized that I can also get rid of the buttons to activate like the iron doors because the cool thing with like the copper doors is that you can just open them. They're different from like the actual like iron doors where you have to have redstone activating them, which I think is just really, really neat. And why did I not <laughs> make pathways for these do these houses? Uh, that's something I'll probably have to do real quick. There we go, that's better. And you can actually see like the two houses like side by side that it actually is a lot better. Although I am starting to rethink like some of the aesthetics, like I can actually change these uh, lanterns to be regular lanterns. Same with these, I can have these just be like the, the copper bulbs. Yeah, I think I might go ahead and do that. It's actually really nice to come back and revisit all these uh, previous builds. I want to try and do that with pretty much everything as like updates come out and new blocks are introduced. Like, it's just so fascinating to see like what can I do to these pre-existing ideas to improve upon them. And it's it's just a nice thing for me to you know, do, you know. Alright, that actually looks a little bit... Yeah, I like this. It gives an even more industrial vibe with, like, the, the warmer lights to where it's like, oh, these are, like, machines that are, like, giving off, like, energy and, and warmth, you know? I'm gonna try and change one of these bigger buildings now. See how that works. Okay, I don't know about this one. I use the uh, grates as the windows, but I think I like this a little bit more. Uh, how about if I do a different block? Okay, doing that is doing a little bit better. Hmm, I don't know. That's actually got me rethinking some of the, the other ones I did here, because like, I guess for like the smaller houses, like the grate windows work a little bit better. But like for like the bigger scale houses, I don't know if it's the best uh, option. 
Hmm, I wonder. Okay. Alrighty. Maybe I could do that sort of aesthetic over here. Okay, yeah, that works. That works. It adds a little splash of color in what would otherwise just be mostly green. And I guess it kind of make matches a little bit good with those lanterns. Uh, let me see how like the normal copper would look, because I'm actually curious about that as well. I mean, I don't know. I kind of like this one because it still has like those little bits of green on there. So I might just go with like the slightly weathered one. Now it's got me curious if I can change other bits, like the windows, those could be... Yeah, yeah, I like that a little bit better. Here, hold on. Yeah, it gives it like a nice bit of color, but I still want everything to be majority green because it, it's it's new Creeper City. The theme is Creepers, so green is like the, the main color. But this actually does look good, just like this, wow. Hmm. Although I feel like I would need to change like this, because like the stone works good because it has green on it, but like this, the uh, slabs on top, I think I could, I could change that. Okay. Okay, that works. That works. Uh, here, let me co actually compare it to this, like... Okay, so it is, like, brighter than this red, so... This will still be, like, its own unique thing with, like, the red roof sort of thing, quote-unquote. Uh... Yeah, I like this. In fact, I think it looks even more industrial than, like, with the stone slabs. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Let me Let me try and... Let me try and spread this out to the rest of them. You know what this kind of contrast is actually reminding me of? Uh, me. Because, <laughs> like, the, the exposed copper reminds me of the orange on my outfit. And then the regular uh, weathered copper is reminding me of the, the cyan or the blue on my outfit. It kind of has that, like, similar contrast sort of feel. Which, I guess, makes this even more personalized than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I think I like this way more. Look at that. Looks way more industrial. Ooh, just that little touch on the, like, the welcome sign, too. Ooh, wow. That's nice. I like that. I like this a lot. Maybe I can spread it over to this one. Here, hold on. it fits I feel like I could use a little bit more like uh, detailing here and there like you can I do that sort of thing yeah I can have those corner blocks be like the uh, chisel oh wow that works really well actually hold on <laughs> that actually works really really well because I remember whenever I was first designing these uh, houses I always had such a big problem with these corner bits because like first it's like the uh cut copper but then it just turns into like normal copper and so like this actually really really helps with the corner bits there we go that looks good I'm actually thinking of keeping these as the iron bars because it just adds that little gray touch that is kind of spread throughout. Like it matches closely enough to the stone as far as like the shade, color, 
that. It's fine. I don't mind it being here. And it kind of adds to its industrial feel without taking away from these uh, grates, you know? And I want to do it with all these other ones. <laughs> uh, comment down below if you really want me to, like, go ahead and just change this entire thing. Because this was supposed to be just like a very casual recording. Just to see how these sort of things would look like. And I actually really, really like these changes. So by the time the update officially rolls out, I might go ahead and do this. But uh, let me know if you guys want to see that on uh, on the channel. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this. I just wanted to see like how these uh, new blocks would look with the uh, with the new Creeper City aesthetic. Now I wonder. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that. Doesn't take away from the Creeper since it's already so brightly colored. <laughs> uh. Alright, so to end things off for today, let me know if you guys like this new style and if I should continue it throughout the rest of the city. Uh, also, let me know if you guys want me to build anything else in the creative world, because I had a lot of fun with this and I'd like to have you guys along for the ride. Uh, the sub of the day is Waxed Weathered Cut Copper Stairs, and I'm out of here. <laughs>